Ah. Uh. Exclusive. <laughs> Every time. Now I know Phil's stopping by today, right, Fonz? He he pro- he pledged to stop by uh, every single week for for the foreseeable about future. Delivering great exclusive games for you that ship on platforms where Game Pass exists. Oh, I, I, he's really good at that line. It sounds very similar every time because it's so true. And uh, you know what else is so true? RDX is a, a a pretty cool podcast to some people. Some of you in the chat, thank you for stopping by and uh, we do appreciate it welcome to real deal xbox podcast where we do have footage of chris Grinnell wrecking me in uh for no i'm kidding i'm probably wrecking chris Grinnell in forza horizon 4 the game still looks so damn good running on the series x right right chris thanks for joining us christopher how you been i'm good thank you thanks for having <laughs> me obviously it's been a while uh yeah it was good fun on forza last yeah. night and uh Looking forward to getting into the topics and catching up with the uh, with the panel. There's so many topics, um, but Mill- yes. millions of topics. <laughs> Jason, Jason, that's a weird comment. Ready for the poop? Okay, all right. You might want to go to the R. Kelly chat. That's somewhere else, sir. Uh, also, hey, we do got to give a shout out to everyone in the Ooh. chat again uh, because you know you guys probably show us later every week, but you really do. If you haven't, consider hitting the like button, telling a buddy because as uh, you know, well known as the show is around at least on this channel uh you know there's still a ton of people that are looking for a podcast like this real talk from uh people that are really on twitter and see real dumb stuff being said so uh fonz how you been buddy another week another rdx yes another week another rdx i'm tired working long shifts at work but hey i am here i made it and uh i'm just i'm ready to get into all these topics Oof. especially the, the one It'll be pretty fun. <laughs> yeah we got that one. that was a late edition zachar how you been I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Glad to be here again. I've seen the chats all hyped up. Uh, I know there's. I know people are kind of saying like, oh, there's not much to do, but there's actually a lot of topics out there. Yeah, I got a lot, a lot of topics. Stuff. And it's, it does revolve around Sony a lot. But hey, you know what? Uh, we're looking forward to this week, uh, end of the week especially, and all the topics that have been happening in between then. So, but yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And too, like we got a lot of uh, kind of, I hate that word, insider bullshit. It's, it's so dumb. Inside stuff, we'll call it, where it's like, hey, this is what we're hearing, and this Xbox related, right? So there's a lot of Sony stuff, uh, you know, fucking and unfucking their fans <laughs> with some of the decisions that were recently made. I don't give a shit. Like, again, not corporate owned. We just say what we say, and uh, we're going to have fun with topics like that. But at the same time, we get a lot of cool stuff for you guys uh, and more. So, again, D Batch, brother, uh, how you been? I'm good, man. Today was like back to school for the kids. So, yes, the new chapter has begun. Uh, my season will be messed up once again. But apart from that, I'm doing really good, man. Uh, it's good to be on the show today. We got some really interesting topics. So let's get on with it. Factual information. And Factual. we've also got xCloud, Tim Dog. How you been, bud? Been good. Been through the uh, tough week of work, but, you know, still still kicking. So... Happy to be here. We got a lot to talk about. Big week, big uh, upcoming Sony show. I'm um, excited. I think uh, I, I, I think today you'll have a lot to talk about for some reason. So and also Chris <laughs> being here uh, is awesome. So anytime he's here, you, it's always a good podcast. Yeah. yeah. As, Kirby, as Kirby says in the chat, insiders can eat it. Yeah, they can eat. But you got to tell them what they eat next, though. Then now they're just confused. Uh, hey, we've also got to give a big shout out to our moderators, uh, Lisa Papa, Boss Mod, and we've got Obi Wan regular mod. We got a definitely, we got, you know, ranking. No, we don't have ranking. Seriously, though, thanks to everybody who's keeping the chat and check and doing your thing. This is Horizon 4 running on Series X. You'll see some cars that are not publicly available, uh, and they're pretty cool, like the 2020 GT500. Uh, pretty neat car. We're doing the Halo Challenge here. Chris Grinnell, I'm going to do some shout outs, and we got some really cool topics. Uh, again, guys, thanks for doing what you do. As we get into my Patreon shout out tier, we got Forkboy Gaming. We got Dave Incubus, Ricky Falan. Shout out to Darge Knight, Faultline Z, Not Silent, Gazix, Bad Boy Live, Achievement, Nano Polymath, Zordon, and Costanza, Scout Trooper 74, KY Bob, which we're going to have you on soon, sir. Goose 8402, Straw Hat Khalifa, Assassin Lupa, which, um, Thaw Squad uh, Lupa. Uh, hopefully, we'll hear back from her soon. And then we've got Foreign Object, Gab Quiz, Teo, John Blue, Beck Balls, Deviator X, Real Deal Neil, Suicide King, Tasteless Genie, Michael Bowen. And then uh, we've also got Guillermo Kibio, All Might, Dark CMF, and Alfonso Hogan. Shout out to you guys, my patron shout out tier, and those in the scroll above as we talk about. <laughs> this is a nice entry point into the topics. Sony, uh, I literally wrote Sony fuck and then unfuck their fans. I mean, I'm sorry, just how you want me to put it. 
Horizon <laughs> upgrades were promised. <laughs> Horizon Forbidden West or Secret Dragon, whatever you want to call it. Those upgrades were, were essentially promised, right, Tim Dog? And then Sony said, we we just kidding. And then they said, we just kidding again, and they reversed it two days later because yeah. of because of the <laughs> real gaming fans. And, and there's people right. out there with the, the narrative that people like us are only speaking up because it's Sony. And then they're using the Xbox Live price hike as an example of how we don't speak. We literally fucking talked about the yeah. price hike day one. Shit yeah, on them for yeah. this. And they, they mentioned it in like multiple videos. Hours later. And they reversed it a day later, yeah. so it's not because it's for something. Later. Wasn't it like freaking like fifteen hours? I had like fifteen later, minutes like, later. Shit. No, it's like, they're like, sorry, six, six hours. It was <laughs> like, like sorry, shit. It was like nine, it's nine so far, I'm Sorry. Yeah. Tim, Doug, no, what do you think about this Horizon Forbidden well, Burrito? Listen, first of all, he was he was on quoted as saying that the the upgrade path doesn't require any chop charge. He made that clear, and they and that was before this. But when the news came down, people were like, "What? what is this? And um, he went against his word. And Jim Ryan, that is, he, he definitely said it. And uh, and it's it's if you look it up, you can find it. He said that, you know, it, it's clearly written no uh, upgrade for all versions, a free upgrade. Um, so they, they, they try to slip in a $10 charge, just like a third party would try to do, like Activision. But they are now... Kind of hurting their base, or 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 threatening that that you know that with this. Uh, listen, they're they're saying going forward, they're not gonna they're gonna have a ten dollar up 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 charge. Yep. That's stupid, and yep. they should learn their lesson right now. You don't mess with stuff like that. Well, you just just call it an L and move on from there. Yeah, Why yeah is it stupid? it's stupid. I don't think it's I don't think it's the see the thing is what you what you know you were you're saying is that it wasn't a ten ten buck surcharge. It was a twenty bucks surcharge to lot, get the PS4 yeah. and PS5 version, and then if you bought the PS4 version alone, then you don't get an upgrade. I'm glad yeah. they went back on this, but I love how at the end of it they were like, "Oh, but from now on, all <laughs> yeah. games are going to be." Set. And it's like, it's like, Zachary, right, hang so on, can you rewind? All, this, can you rewind that shit and say that part again? Yeah, but from now on, like they're just like, <laughs> it's going to be a tax now. And you know what? You know what's really so they said for all the other games going forward. Fuck you. Yep. All yeah, the other games yeah. going forward, ten bucks surcharge. It's not going to be a free upgrade. And then to top it off, it's in the it's in the it's in our notes here too because we all have notes of our topics of what we're going to talk about. Yeah. Ubisoft literally comes out today and was like free upgrade and like a middle <laughs> finger to everybody else that's charging it. And you know what? I'm I'm actually really annoyed that you know yeah we're Xbox fans. I get it, but number one, first and foremost, we're gaming fans. So uh, yeah. And the fun and the and the best thing about this is that. Xbox fans were actually the ones that were more vocal about this. And it's like, yeah, I play on PlayStation, the exclusives. But again, I don't want a company to think this is okay. Because if one company yeah. does it, another one will look to it. It's very copycat. Every In every industry, it's very copycat. You follow what somebody does if uh, if the people, your consumers, allow it. And this it's is not something we should be allowing. <laughs> like, at all. It should, like, it should like just be... Dumb. Yeah, I agree. But well, listen, from a Sony business point of view, and this is why I kind of feel... Like I'm not the the biggest on Jim is is that I would just even overrun and run a thing tomorrow. You never do this ten dollar thing again. They should definitely. This is just something you don't mess with. Like I think every time a game now, uh, like their games, do that, people are gonna start complaining, and it's gonna be a shit show, and they're just gonna you know say this and that, and they don't need that type of PR in the position that they are in. The money that they losing with bad presses. If you just say okay, it's a goodwill charge, whatever, you, you know. Listen, well, third party. Third part, what, why disagree. you disagree? You disagree okay, so so here's what I disagree with. I disagree with the ten dollar up charge. I Somebody's think got that, like a space heater yeah. in their mic or something. By the way, I so what do y'all call? To, huh? No, okay. uh, they need to. They need to keep that same energy, that seventy dollar energy, because they, you know, they didn't start this thing. They just followed suit with EA and uh, Take Two and all these other companies that decided to, you know, charge seventy bucks per game this generation. And I said this a long time ago, right here on this show. I said this is going to set a precedence for others to follow suit because now that Sony's done it, the market leader, others are going to, you know, it, all games eventually will be seventy dollars. It's going to happen. I don't like it, but it's going to happen. Now, what what would happen if they said? Okay, so all our cross-gen games won't be, uh, you know, you can't upgrade them for $10 or whatever, or they'll be free. It would cause 
sort of a rift within their company because they're charging $70 per game. Who would buy the PS5 version at $70 if they could get it for 60 and get a free upgrade? It makes absolutely no sense. They put themselves in a corner with Horizon Forbidden West. Yeah. Yes. That's why they have to do it. They have to honor it because they said they were going to give it to you for free. Now they have yeah. to do that. So all these well, people are running around now saying, oh, I'm, I'm still going to buy the PS5 version. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't buying the <laughs> $70 version. I'll be honest. I'm going to pay the $60 because that's all I'm willing to pay for the game. And I'll just get that free upgrade. So well, I have a problem you know, there's a lot of people thing. like this. The problem is, is they're calling this dual entitlement. Mm. And, and, and I, I don't like that they use that word. They copied that straight out of the EA playbook because they started yeah. calling st that their games dual entitlement when they were talking about cross-gen. They adopted it. These ain't free posting sponsor. Really. Games. It, no, but it, 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 at the end of the day, you're going to be paying $70 for a Sony game. Mm -hmm. So I understand that they're going to do this for the next set of games. They had to give us a free upgrade here because they promised a free upgrade in this case. That's where, that's where I disagree. That's, well, that's I, what I, I'm I, I, well, no, one thing you said. One thing you said is that they were they weren't first. I, I I distinctly remember 2K EA and Xbox or sorry Sony doing it around the same time. Sony announced the seventy dollar hike right after their show last year, last September, before the consoles even in came out. In a post show did, press in, in briefing, a, in a post, not even a press briefing. Yep. It was a post show <laughs> Twitter post, and then they were like, eh! and they just ran in the corner. So they were one of the first ones to start this shit. And it's it's really annoying. Like I'm uh, sorry, and yeah. I'm not going to sit here. And well, do they're, they're oh, accused yeah, of so, setting no, the no. industry standard wait, as wait, the wait, wait, largest well, publisher and a, a, a console holder. They, like they're wait, accused of setting the standard at no, seventy dollars. Yeah. Well, yeah, what are they going to do? What, but what are they going to do, Fonz? Or what are they going to do? Everybody here in the panel and and in the chat. What are they going to do when these game their games their first party games start going on PC? Yeah. And then the PC gamers are not going to be like, oh, seventy dollars is cool. Not, Try no, it. All right, I want, I want something else from Fonz here, and then I want to throw it to Chris Grinnell. By then, by then, by then, when when their games do go to PC, they're already old anyway, so they're they're not going to charge. Right now they are. Right now they are. So I'm saying later down the road, in a year, two years, I don't, three years, I, I, I don't ever, I don't it, ever it see them going day and date personally. But I think that they'll they'll have a six month window at the the shortest time well i, I mean i don't know i don't i mean if it's six months that's great but i'm PC. saying that this is what i think why xbox didn't do it because their games are day and date on pc and they know if they charge 70 on xbox people on pc they're just going to start pushing people away i think they saw that ahead of time and were like yo we can't do that and I, and people are like xbox is going to do it too it's like we haven't seen any indication of that at all yeah yeah and that's and, why and they're and pushing it. game pass right that's why they're pushing game pass they want everybody well, game pass is one of the reasons that they're not 70 dollars. chris grinnell yeah. what is your yeah. thoughts on the fucking and unfucking i think the horizon situation was i think jim was trying to make use of a loophole and that loophole was he was talking about a free upgrade for the launch window titles. Hmm. Now, the moment that Horizon dropped to 2022, it dropped out of the launch window. And he thought people were stupid. He could circumvent his comment about it being a free upgrade for launch uh, window titles. And then loads of people called him out on it. And obviously their comment and press release or the blog release specifically stated that it was a free upgrade for launch titles. It fell out of the launch window, but they're going to honor it because there was a big backlash from from people. Um, and I think, Joe, you know, if it wasn't for the backlash, I think he would have absolutely been fine with saying this has dropped out the launch window. You know, so there goes your fucking free upgrade or whatever. I think that's so, exactly what he was trying I gotta to do. I got to give utilize. people a little backstory because you work for Sony for, you were a Sony game developer for years and years and years, right? You since yep, left, and uh, this is kind of just your honest take on what you think management now is kind of trying to do. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, yes, yeah, that, that's it. As soon as, as soon as I saw, I think when the Horizon vertical slice was shown, I think we spoke about it deal at the time in private and stuff, and I said this game wasn't going to see the light of day until next year because it wasn't. They weren't showing enough of the game to to kind of prove that enough of actual gameplay you know the vertical slice was very nice and it was kind of stitched together really well but that <laughs> that game was off do you know that game was out of out of the launch window towards the end yeah. of this year as soon as it got moved back 
Then that obviously that big launch window that a lot of kind of fanboys were holding on to to say, look how many great <sighs> games we've got in our launch. Bro, window. they literally they sold PlayStation Fives on a God of War title card. I mean, it's yeah. it's 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 interesting. A cute perspective, by the way. Shout out to him in the super chat. He says he says Sony's Jim Ryan. Sorry, Jim Ryan was caught in 4K. No, he was caught in PSVR too. Lion, mm -hmm. and I want to talk more about PSVR <laughs> later in the show. Uh, uh, shout out to Laura Starkiller again with super, ten dollars super chat. He says time for PC. <laughs> Time for PC markets lock higher. Mm, Time, ugh, bug just flew in my mouth. What the fuck? Hey, Zalker. Yeah. <laughs> Time for PC makers hey. to lock higher rates <laughs> behind paywall. Just kidding. Sony needs to back away Zalker. from this greedy practice. Emulate smart delivery if they can. <laughs> hey, hey, Fonz. You got to. I live next door to Fonz. He got all kinds of bugs flying out his window. Hey, seriously though. <laughs> well said, Star Killer. <laughs> And chat, uh, let us know your thoughts, all right? Who else can recover from a bug flying in your mouth during the show, all right? No one, hey, all right? You know it's what? impossible. I think this is the main issue. It's it's Jim Ryan, okay? Jim Ryan is a businessman, and I, I just think he doesn't need to be out there talking so much. Mm. So you think, think it's just yeah, him? Exactly. They, they need to the rein him in, is what you're saying. And just, yeah, they he needs to be reined in. Uh, let Herman be the, the spokesperson out there and talk for Sony. Uh, because is Jim, Jim Ryan is just, saying anything? How many times... Jim Ryan's the one that promised this uh, Horizon Forbidden West to be free. Yeah, in, so, the, in an original blog. So, like, basically, the, the, the one time he talks a year is too much. Like, hey, no, bro, can you chill for a time. minute? He's put, a, he's, put, he's put his foot in, in his mouth several times. Uh, the guy lot. needs to stop. Uh, yeah, he definitely does. Honestly, this guy, it, it, look, he may, he may be a really smart businessman, but he's no spokesperson. He needs to just step back. Smart businessman. He's just copying Microsoft's model just two years late. Shout out to uh, Cody yeah. Swood in the, in the chat. He says, bug snacks and do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Astray Gaming. Shout out to him as well. Uh, Yosemite. We've also got OG Gamer, Lethal Papa, as well as Jason B, David BGS. I got to shout these guys out. They power, they power the show. Thousands of people already watching live, guys. If you haven't hit the like button, and of course, let a friend know about the show. As we read another chat here from, uh, from Beaner. Uh, he does say 343 should give um he should eh, they three four three should give sure are you still you still wanting the so, so let me know chat i need your thoughts on this for one this has nothing to do with this but it, it is something that people have been asking me about should they go back and show and this is not, not again nothing to do with this chat but i, I just want to know should they go back and show the original halo infinite debut footage from before to now well, hopefully with mountains this time uh, or should they just let it let it be in the past instead of letting people pick and, and see how they improve things and see what's there and what's not there? Let it be in the past. Let it be in the past. Leave Leave it. Let's, let, let's move on. Just show what you're going to show. show. We got we to gotta see some new gameplay. Show what it is. And yep. honestly, show the world a little bit like how they had that panoramic view where they pulled up and there was no pop-in at that E3 showing or whatever the hell it was. <laughs> like, just do that. Show a little bit of that and some gameplay for about 10 minutes of, like, a mission or something like that, like you did. Zach, are you going you all know, in like, depth? Yeah. This is a yes or no, sir. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I had to go in depth because uh, it's Halo, god damn it. Well, all right. Well, I mean, again, like, chat, I, I, I want to know Chad's thought, too. I think it's hard to do, but because, like, to have the same exact way the game is... I guess you could play the board over again. So you'd have it would be a little bit different. It would be like honestly the gameplay that you saw, but I don't see them doing that. I see them with a new stage. Um, probably they're one of their most impressive parts of their game. They're probably going to show yeah. off, and yeah. uh, if it looks good, then we're you know they're in business because uh, they're going to be really put under the microscope on that one. Uh, well, I mean, hey, Dark CMF shout out to him. He says Twitter will show the old footage, and he's got another one here in a second, but. Uh, Beaner was saying that uh, they should give compensation to people for the co-op stuff. So, for for example, a battle pass for completing co-op on Legendary and uh, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that could be something they could do. Some co-op specific achievements that they add and reward people for doing that stuff on harder difficulties like they kind of already do. He already says he loves the show. Thank you so much, sir. Dark CMF also says Jim Ryan equals Don Matrick uh, without a bowl cut. Uh, Colt does a great uh, Jim Ryan impression, by the way. He says, uh, Don Matrick in Sony clothing, no business as a spokesman. Yeah. I mean, you definitely don't want motherfuckers out there talking about submarines. And then we got Laura Starkiller again, uh, $10 super shit. He says, um, he says with a market value of about $132 billion for Sony and Microsoft being a $2 plus trillion dollar company, time for Microsoft to buy Sony. <laughs> yeah, that will, uh, that will never happen, parentheses. He's kidding, guys. He's trolling. 
can I just say something right? Like, I know we're talking smack about Jim Ryan, and I get it. Like, I get it. We just don't want him to talk that much. But the guy, like, he dominated Europe. Like, when he was oh, running, shit. like, he, that's where he came from. And he's, he's not in a position Europe. where he is for he's, being uh, a dog. Yeah, he's not, he's, not, he's not in the, like, he's not running PlayStation because right. he's because he's an idiot. He dominated he's Europe. He got, in a battle. Exactly. he got in a battle with, you know, Sean Layden probably. And he won because of his numbers in Europe and Africa and everything. Every territory, hundreds of them that he was in command of, he dominated. Damn. Like, I'm sorry to say it. But still, like, the guy is a businessman. Dr. Loves you know, Sean, Jim earlier, Ryan. You're confirming that John right Ryan. John, John Ryan. John Ryan. Jim Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> No, he killed too much. He killed too much. John and Blue. Blue. Back John to you, John Rat. Zonker, you That's did hear problem. that uh, Sean Layden came out in an article and said that he left on his own accord because he wanted to leave PlayStation while they were on top. Uh, Stop sure, lying sure. about two years, Sean Layden. Two years Zonker. later. Two years later. Two um, years later. No, I'm just I'm actually yeah. Two years later, he comes out. J.K. I left <laughs> on my own. Okay, okay, Sean. Go <laughs> shake your beard. So like, I'm just like. <laughs> Like I'm just saying, like Jim Ryan, like yeah, he's not an idiot. But the thing is, what Dealer did say, it's true that I think a lot of his position is what Xbox is doing. Like he sees what they're doing, he sees the profit, yeah. and he's kind of like, hey, you know what? This is something that we can actually go through and dabble in business wise. And so yeah. he's doing that. The seventy dollar hike is a just a trash ass move. I think he's a little out of touch with the fan base. But overall, like, sorry man, the no, guy's not, not really. He's not out of the, touch with the fan no, base because the, the, they're happy to pay the, it. But yeah, that's what's good to say. The fat. The, sorry, Chris, but the, the no, fan no, base, the, the fan base, they're happy to pay it. I've seen so many articles online from publications <laughs> saying, hey, well, you know, if Sony just did a $10 upgrade fee, I'd be okay with that. I just don't <laughs> want to pay two. And like, like, they're accepting to it. Like the, the fan base, everyone's like, okay with that. When Microsoft is doing it for free, where it really doesn't cost any money to give you the version that's compatible with your system. Like it, it's, it's just a, a simple cash grab. And I think you're right. It's because they see that the money they're getting, that Microsoft is getting from Game Pass, it's a lot of revenue that they're getting. And Sony doesn't want to be left out of that extra revenue. So that $10, it adds up. You got $10 more. Say you sell a million copies of that game. You got $10 more on that million copies of games. That's $10 million, man. Oh, you shit. know, times that throughout all the different games that they have, it's, it's extra money. And they're trying to get some of that money that microsoft is getting Don't and forget. in all honesty the solution is just have a service that's similar to game pass because we all know that sony guys love sony games so why would they not pay for such a service they're doing that they're, they just added crunchy roll it's gonna fly it's gonna compete with game pass Crunchy roll. i mean playstation I'm now is, uh, they just need to make a couple changes and rebranding to playstation now and boom right there well, I, I, I really don't know about the whole gamers are willing to pay for it. I don't buy that. I don't buy they what are. people on Twitter are saying because, you know, Returnal apparently sold 500,000 copies or 600,000. The Ratchet and Clank ripped apart. Their biggest game coming out outside of Deathloop sold a million copies. And, so and that's pretty good for the install base, though. That's pretty good for the install base. Yeah, the install yeah, base is almost, at 10, is almost at 10 million or over 10 million, isn't it? Yeah, like that's, that's, that's great. By the way, this I, race, me and Chris that. Grinnell killed somebody in a class entirely above us. That's why I zoomed in on his name. Zocker, that adds up because you have over 100 million PlayStation 4s out there, and they didn't buy but what, you know. Why y'all being toxic about Sony all the time? Exclusives. Huh? Like, you know, that it just, it makes, it makes sense, though. When you look at the, you know, 10 plus million, 1 million for the game, it makes sense. That's, that's what they, that's normal. Hmm. Well, uh, you know, <laughs> here's another uh, Uriel, by the way. He said, oh, he's talking about the new Matrix trailer. I don't know. If, uh, we can talk about that after the show. But he said Matrix, Re Matrix Resurrection coming Thursday. What is that coming to? The Movie theater? theaters. Go mm. F yourself. So is it, yeah. is it going to HBO Max like Zacher said everything was going to do? I mean, they put everything on there. Ooh. Yeah, it should be going. Yeah. Right, it well. should be going to HBO Max. Everything this year is going there. All right. Well, we'll see if it's complete trash. Chat, let us know if it's going to be. They, 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 that's why they were talking about the date, and they're like, they were completely wrong and stupid idiots. <laughs> no, I, yes, yeah, seriously. Uh, the trailer looked pretty interesting, but that's a movie. We're talking about video games. Shadow 2 Aguriel. Uh, let's move on mm. to, uh, so, so just to kind of conclude, Sony said, y'all getting free upgrades for Forbidden West, and then they tried to sell it to you instead. And then two days later, thanks to real gamers and not the frauds making excuses for them on Twitter that said that we weren't speaking out about things for Xbox, even though we did, the proof is there. Um, you know, yeah, thanks to people like you guys in the chat, us on this panel, and real PlayStation fans, uh, you didn't make excuses, and you, you actually spoke out, and they changed their mind. So they're going to unfuck you, and that's great. Oh, Zalk was right. The, the man with a million. He spoke you, out, too. Ubisoft, 
<laughs> Ubisoft did say that uh, very quickly that they're doing free upgrades for everybody with Far Cry 6. Ah. Nice. You know what anybody says, man? Ubisoft's one of my favorite publishers. I don't care. Stop shilling. Like they're not going to pay for bro. you. They're not they're paying sick. you. They they just slip me a check of uh, brownie. <laughs> no, I, I just I don't know, man. I like their games. Like I said, like I've been playing Valhalla a crap ton, and there's just a lot of content in there for the price. Yeah, there is. Like Good. I'm sorry, and then you know, Riders Republic. Playing Odyssey. Awesome. Riders Republic. I like Ubisoft as well. So, so Chris was telling me that uh, a lot of the guys on Twitter are saying Sony are going to buy Ubisoft. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna so buy so I Chris, what is your what are they saying this for? What is this about? Are they being serious? Uh, to be honest, I think it's countering other rumors that are going around. So, yeah, I think they're just trying to Make pick and choose kind of who's left. Yeah. They got to figure out who the fuck, they, who, who they're, what they like and what they don't like. Because one second they're like, it don't matter. Those games are trash anyway. And then they're like, Sony's buying them the next week. It's like, what do you guys like? What don't you like? Do you mean, or is it the same people that said Starfield is exclusive to PlayStation? It might be. Good chance. Because, I, I mean, I don't know, man. That's been, you know, I feel like it's exclusive somewhere else. Like, I, every, for the last year or two, ever since Xbox went on this buying spree of craziness, <laughs> like, Sony has bought a couple things. Like, I get it. They've gotten a couple studios. Hey, good They got us. some stuff they haven't but, announced, yeah. Yeah, and they got a little some stuff they haven't though. announced, but, like, I'm sorry, nothing's going, like, I just think the Bethesda thing smacked the entire industry, <laughs> and yeah, everybody's yeah. kind of like, yo, um, is anybody going to do this? Like, is this ever going to, yeah. like, that's like a once-in-a-lifetime, like, mm-hmm. opportunity, people. Like, we might never see might anything be twice like in a that lifetime. again. Maybe well, that's twice. The thing. twice yeah. That's the thing. It, that's the question, and that's what people, what the stirring of a thing is. Is it twice? That that can happen. It could be I mean, twice. I, 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 I agree with Zucker. I think it's a very rare thing. I think the way it came about was just a, a kind of a victim of circumstances. Um, but for that to usually ever happen again, very, I, I was kind of unlikely in my opinion. Uh, uh, yeah. But it could. But who knows? Maybe if it does, maybe you know, lightning uh, strikes the same then, toenail then, twice. Then, huh? then are you going to say? Is this game exclusive? <laughs> and we have this new, 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 new deal. So I mean, I don't know. I guess it's gonna be interesting. I think within within a short space of time, you had a very clear kind of idea of what strategies were. You know how the strategies differed. So Sony obviously secured Death Loop, um, and and that's uh, that's where they're kind of sitting you know, to secure certain titles and products away from the other platform. But at the time. Joe, not so long after they secured Deathloop, Joe Xbox come out and buy the whole publisher and, and yeah. developer. So they're, in, they're so that they're in, they're looking at things in a very like different way. And I think I think Sony would struggle, I think, to um to buy Ubisoft. I know Ubisoft is like the Gilamon family and stuff are always kind of the one of those businesses which are always like up for purchase. So there's a lot of like businesses in the world that are kind of adopt this if the price is right we'll sell type uh, method and well, just always make themselves like available um it doesn't mean they're actively out looking for purchases but they're always open to conversations and stuff but i think just reading between the lines and looking at you know what people are posting and speaking to i, I know people who work at ubisoft and stuff like that so none of those kind of murmurings have uh, have appeared um i think it's just what the next big developer or publisher that can counter Bethesda, yep. and obviously and there uh, is none. Sony would rather buy exclusive rights to a multiplan. They got to do it organi- organically, though. You hear? I, I, I don't no, think they'll, that, they'll, they'll buy I, the multiplan. They're not they, 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 like I'm they, sorry. They would do that. They would do that. But then the funny thing is, is that Ubisoft has like nineteen thousand people, like of developers. They have like forty studios. Like they're huge. Like that's the point. People understand they're worth eight point one billion dollars. Yeah, and they, that's just their net worth. If you buy them, you're spending upwards of twenty billion. So, like, yep. does does Sony have that money lying around? Obviously, we know Microsoft does. <laughs> so, like, the thing that, that like, I, and this no, is like, that, it's not happening. People like Ubisoft's no. not getting sold. They're they're you know one of the biggest publishers. You know, and Bethesda again was one of the biggest ones, but oui, Ubisoft's oui. bigger than that. Yeah, and that's 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 what people don't understand is that. That Bethesda deal, everything going on, Sony, like it's it's completely shaked a lot of things because I think Sony was buying a lot of games or third party games from Bethesda. Obviously, Ghostwire, Deathloop. Yeah. But now those games that are coming out, Deathloop is their biggest holiday release. Think about it. And it's a and then to me, yeah, it's on PlayStation 5, but it's also on PC and it's more of a freaking 
Xbox showpiece now because it's a developer that's Xbox exclusive. And it's like, once yeah. this is done, if this reviews well, it looks good on Sony, but it also looks good on Xbox. Well, let, hang so on. Let, let me tell you what else looks good, Zachary. Uh, Shabs has a super chat. Right? It's very true. He says, love the show. Yeah, so. uh, really? Don't you do that to Shabs. It's very why are you pop locking next to your truck there? You know, you, you know what? This race is a clusterfuck. So much so that this I had the, to do it. This is, the best guy, this is Chris is like, we got to do this race again. Like, I, th- this was horrible. We both ended up doing flips off the cliff, and it just didn't go our way. We came back to Horizon 4 after, what, a year of not playing the game? <laughs> We're just like, fuck it, record. So, yeah, it was, it was a good time anyway. Uh, Shabs, uh, Shabs. He just say, love the show. Uh, he says, but what about all the games that are multi-plat? Xbox Series X, S, PS4, 5, and Switch PC alone with multi-GPU and uh, and CPU, they're still charging 60 bucks. And that's the, that's the thing, though, right? That, that's why I don't sit there and try to shut people down that talk out about this stuff. It's, they all have a point. They all have an opinion. They're all valid. It just yeah. a lot of people don't care about shit that don't affect them. Or things they don't care about, you know, that's what they don't care about. So you can't really change that. That's why I don't harp on it. KY Bob, by the way, he does say, again, brother, we're going to have you on uh, sometime in the next month, I'd, I'd imagine. He says, I'm really starting to uh, he's starting to wonder what the uh, what the deal was with Microsoft made with Sony and the Azure servers. He's talking about that memorandum from years ago. I think that's Probably just how far, ago, right? I think that's how far behind they are, brother. I think Sony still just have not got their PS5s and server blades and basically kind of copy X cloud T for T. But he does say that uh, Sony obviously isn't using it to compete with game pass. Like we thought they would. I think they will. I think they're just behind. I think they will have PS now in those server blades. We do know they're using them for their multiplayer games. That's what they said. They were going to use them for their multiplayer titles. Ubisoft uses Azure for a lot of their multiplayer stuff as well. Uh, OG gamer. One more. He says, uh, I just wanted to say RDX is legendary and dot 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 hit the damn like button people thank you so much sir yes uh everybody if you haven't considered the like button we got almost 1300 people already watching guys thank you very much uh you guys are amazing shout out to everyone in the super chat all the channel members and of course every single person leaving a comment leaving a chat try to reply and shout out when we can but uh are we ready to to kind of move forward because we got some other really good topics here i I think uh (laughs) Uh, the Sony to get Ubisoft thing, I wanted to ask Chris because he mentioned earlier people saying this stuff. I thought it was funny. Uh, it's it's every other day, right? Well, we'll talk about I, what they I are getting later in the show. I think it's asinine, too, because if you really look at the history, uh, Ubisoft has a strong relationship with Microsoft. So it, that sale's never going to happen. But I'm saying if it were to happen, it, it would be Microsoft that would be vetting them because they have a great relationship. They don't really have such a good relationship with Sony. If you look at all the exclusive content and, you know, the the the, the deals that they get. Yeah, like Mark, it's the deals. We, we, yeah. be bitch. Sony bot Rockstar. <laughs> <laughs> so, Fonz, you did a poll on Twitter. <laughs> oh, Can you explain gosh, this yeah, poll real quick and kind of go over? Uh, all right, so the, 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 the poll, the question was, try and put your f- fanboy flags down for this poll, folks. And no. I thought, what's more next-gen <laughs> feeling for you on this generation's consoles, the Series S, X, and the PS5. And, of course, uh, they were able to choose between haptic feedback, higher frames, or ray tracing. I just put those three. There's other things I could have put in, yes. But I just put those three because I hear so many people out there say that the DualSense controller is the only thing next-gen about any of these games. Maybe now, about the right? PS5. It just seems like it's just ridiculous to even say something like that, that that the Xbox isn't doing anything next gen because they don't have features like haptic feedback and 3D audio, which is just ridiculous because they do have uh, Atmos and stuff. But yeah, the haptic feedback, they don't have haptic feedback. And I say, who cares? I turn that off anyway. I don't know about you guys, but most of my friends that, that have a PS5 turn off the haptic feedback. They don't even use it in most games. So I I wanted to put up a poll and 5,660 people voted gamers out there. 62% was for higher frame rates, 24% for ray tracing and only 13% for haptic feedback. There you go. The gamers have spoken frame rates, people frame rates. Well, to be quite honest, the people that you interact with on Twitter, I don't think they should be voting on that. But anyways, the most of these people are the same people that said that the SSD was the true next gen thing and then that it's a fat pipe and blah 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 and that it helps your games look better. So, yeah, I don't know. Like that's kind of, I mean, 
the haptic feedback thing, cool. yeah, it's cool. I've played with it. I've checked it out. Is it true next gen stuff? It's a gimmick. No, I'm sorry. It's, it's, not, it's an it's L. Not. It's an L. It, it's. It, I don't know. If it, like, to be quite honest, like I remember when, because it's like it was kind of like a flash in the pan. Because when the PS5 first came out, I've heard. I heard multiple people, people that I know, we know, everybody knows, that were like, "Yo, this 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 haptic feedback is pretty cool." And then three, four weeks later, when I was playing Spider Man, I was like, "I need to turn this shit off." Uh, listen, I, like, I don't I need know. To turn it off. I don't know about the the haptic the feedback. I don't, that's I don't know if that's an L, but for them, it's definitely an L overall. Oh shit! You yeah, why so? you say that? Why do you say that? Yeah, Tim, uh, back up your claims with sources. <laughs> <laughs> with sources. <laughs> Source. Well, that's what Chaney thought we we were saying. No, they did something that I that I, I didn't approve of, but now I can't remember. <laughs> he hated it so bad he blocked it off. He said, I'll never remember this oh my ever. God, Tim, what the fuck? This is something so bad now I can't remember. Oh, oh, God. God. Somebody so, clipped so, that. So <laughs> but, but Tim, the, the oh whole reason God. for my the whole reason for my poll was basically because I'm hearing too many people out there that are saying that Xbox isn't doing anything next gen. And I and I the I just, SSD and, bullshit. And, when they were and, saying and that, they, and they things. attributed oh, okay. to haptic feedback and 3D audio, which is just insane. Yeah. To me but the Xbox to me, uses six teraflops for audio. No, I mean, but the SSD stuff, that's what my train of thought was. I'm sorry, I forgot. I, I messed up. But, you yeah. know, the, S, the SSD, how much talk do we have of that? Of how's you change gaming? <laughs> the uh, there's, yeah. no, there's, no, there's no loading time. Well, there's like, the, a, like one the SSD thing's load. fine, but it's like, it's like they thought it was a graphics card, and but it, then it, they didn't realize Xbox has one of those too. And here's yes, where I'm going to get exactly. real. When, I, when you look at the like games, uh, game per game basis, I think there are more quality looking titles on the PlayStation 5 personally. Okay. That I, I think that's going to change with some of the future games. Which one? Spider Man and Ratchet? Spider Man looks amazing. Ratchet yeah. looks amazing. Yeah. I don't amazing. think there's games that touch. Now, the, the you're talking about before games. the end of this year, visually. right? Because after yeah, this year, yeah, yeah. Xbox v- is visually, ahead. Visually, that's what I'm saying. But it, you know what? It's it's the frame rates that that are really pushing this next gen for me. Yeah, because people are saying we felt higher frame rates last gen. Yeah, we felt them, but they weren't as good. And on every freaking title, this this generation, like every title has a sixty and, frames. And if they're allowed to think haptics are next mode. gen and only the next gen thing, how come people ain't allowed to think that Assassin's Creed is sixty frames? Is like that was that was what I was saying. Assassin's Creed, big open world games like that, a double yeah. the frame rate is going to be the most next gen feeling it's thing. Big deal. Yeah. For quite that's a while. A very, a huge that's deal. a very good point. You know, it, it definitely makes it feel. And but listen, that's what all we were asking for before the generation was frame rate. We really were saying we want sixty frames per second. So both Sony and Xbox nailed it there. You know, there's a ton of sixty frames. Like you said, everything is sixty frames. And it's like like Assassin's Creed, perfect example. Yeah, I played that. I played that game at thirty, and I was like, okay, I played it at sixty. It's a different experience. It really is. You you get that's a good way. That's a good title to to see the difference between frames per seconds. Other games, it's not as as easy as that. Yeah, you want to see the difference? You want to see the difference? I could have reworded the poll. No, let let me say this. I could have reworded the poll. I could have said just SSDs in general. (laughs) Because the the SSDs in general is what really has changed everything. Because you could also input load times there with the SSD, attribute that to the the SSD, uh, the frame rates, all that. Honestly, it's it's the SSDs in these machines that are freaking next gen. Not... The freaking haptic feedback, not some rumble in a controller. Okay, now, but when no. when you when you when you put both of the systems side by side, though, the Series X has way more next gen features than the PlayStation Five. It's 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 you know the smart delivery system. It's got VRS. No, some, who got, was that saying that smart delivery is a buzzword? D batch like they were saying it was the buzzword, and it and it it's comes ridiculous. out that the back yeah. pad is so much better now. I think it was Wed Dragon, but still, like it was one of those things quick where resume. We, we, quick, we got features resume. on the Series X that aren't <laughs> even resume. active. Like they're not even putting it in games yet. Like mesh shaders, you know. There's it has so many more features. It's it's much more streamlined the gaming experience. I, I'll say the PlayStation Five has a better dash. We'll just leave that alone. But like stream wise, like putting your games in backwards compatible games, you know, the Game Pass games, you know how you you can do cross cross play. Like the Series X just has more features, and to me is 
generation system now i agree with fonz that the playstation 5 it does have some really fantastic looking exclusives and next year we're going to get a lot of games that are only going to be next generation and that's when we're really going to see you know the xbox series x kick it into another gear <laughs> but like i'm saying overall the series x has way more next generation <laughs> features so well, you could keep that ha- haptic uh, feedback. all right remember this this topic was a poll and it's a great yeah, topic yeah, but i do want to move forward here we got guests and we got some guys on the super chat i'd like to get to as well uh, veggie lasagna does say i can see microsoft doing something big announcing something big thursday or friday to take away from sony's thingy bobby that we're going to talk about later uh and also tell tim let's go mets uh we've also got another one from chris r who does say um uh, uh, <laughs> he does chris I, I definitely want your thoughts on this next topic too he does say when microsoft buy uh publishers do they run the uh the risk of getting um yeah, they do run the risk of getting blames, he meant blamed, for their controversies. That's an actually that's actually a big that's a topic that I don't think enough people yeah. think about because when Mike Yabar went to to Activision Blizzard, shout out to Mike, well, you know, the second he got there, the shit was on fire. Now, mm-hmm. you know, that's something that you got to think about when you're leaving or going or, you know, all these guys are coming to Microsoft. I think it's more so that do they get blamed when they are acquired for something Microsoft did and Pete Hines and Aaron just curve stomp people on Twitter last week because, you know, people were trying to spread more bullshit about everything that was going on there. So it might be the opposite, actually. But he does say, uh, for example, 2K uh, microtransactions. Yeah, that would be something that Microsoft would be directly kind of in charge of and, that's something I actually caught myself thinking. Like, if I'm paying, I don't know, I don't buy any of that bullshit, but if I'm getting 16,000 Vince Carter coins to buy some socks, like in, in 2K basketball, right? There's some of the most egregious microtransactions there are. I don't experience them because I only play with the real teams. But, you know, is that something Microsoft get blamed for? And they, I think they certainly do. I think it goes both ways. And then Dark CMF, um, shout out to him. He does say, Miles Morales looks good. But not great. He does say that, uh, in his opinion, oh, it looks. Amazing. It is the art style choice, though. And it, yeah, and and you know, they each their own, right? So, shout out to Dark CMF as well. But um, seriously, let's go ahead and move forward. Shout out to over fourteen hundred. I watch this, guys. I do appreciate it. The like button. Let's try to get closer to a thousand for the show as we move forward with uh, quickly Sony's uh, little infamous project. Uh, I talked about this weeks ago on the show, and I guess people on other podcasts are coming out and trying to act like they just randomly heard this. Sony are making an infamous game of some kind. It's a remake. It's a sequel. It's a remat like something. I don't know what they're doing exactly, but like uh, a saints row, like a reimagining of the the IP. Well, it could be, it could be a remake, a remaster, a sequel, something. I don't know. Uh, but basically a little update on that right now I'm hearing it's, it's spring 2023. And that also comes off of, we, we talked about, uh, well, uh, uh, so from software, right? The guys who made Bloodborne, Dark Souls, Sekiro, and, of course, uh, Elden Ring. They're all the same damn game. Basically, they're making another kind of in the family of the games they make. Game for Sony. We talked about that weeks and weeks ago as well. Um, that's going to be some game they're working on for them. And Remedy apparently could have something that, that they're working on for Sony Aside from obviously this remaster they just announced, they just announced an Alan Wake remaster for Xbox, and uh, that's coming to PlayStation as well, right? So, that, yeah, <laughs> I, I, y'all I, y'all excited for for uh, old Alan I mean, Wakey coming I, back with a little flashlight? I don't care about Alan Wake nope. because I don't like uh, I don't know Remedy games just don't they just I don't know they just don't hit yep. it with me. I just they, they just don't do it for me. Sorry, people. I know people love them. You don't but like walking around. I get someone in the chat asked after what's the last one you played. I love it. The last one I played was Quantum Break, and then after that, that I was, was like, like, oh, I played too many of these games. Exactly, seven years too early. God damn it. Oh, tired, shit. Yeah. I was like, like that, I got and I almost like a thousand that thing because I really gave it a chance. Things you got to do is go through a game once, get a thousand. Come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, ugh. But, I, I mean, I just I'm not doing it again. Um, but no, but as for the 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 infamous stuff and all that, like coming 2023, like a lot of people are talking about that. But I'm sitting there going, like, didn't Sucker Punch just take like four or five years to make Ghost of Tsushima? Now that's something else I talked about weeks ago. Zalker, you were there. Yeah. They have another yeah, team saying, that no one knows about yet. Well, damn. See, look at See, that. See, Zalker's so man. stupid. He one. was there and don't even remember the shit. No, Ooh. I don't listen to half the shit you say. Oh, man. That's insulting. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. <laughs> Hit that like, Hit that like button. button for thumbnails made with feet. 
Hey, yeah, they got another team. So they got another team working on uh, infamous something, Sucker Punch Dude. So they're, you know, the primary team's working on Ghost of Shiitake Mushrooms 5 or something. I don't know. So, you know, that should be fun. Uh, Xbox are meeting with Bungie apparently too. I was, I was talking to Tim earlier about this. Like, this is, or is this just something that persists, right? We had heard a while back that they were from a couple different groups of people that they were working on something for, like Undead Labs had worked on something for Bungie, like a, something to go into Destiny 2, like a skin or a zombie handgun. I don't know what the fuck they were making, but they were working on something. I don't even know if it made it into the game. I haven't heard anything about it, but apparently they're working in, in meeting with Bungie a lot. Xbox are. That doesn't mean for acquisition. Doesn't mean that could be a Game Pass thing. It could be more DLC from Destiny in Game Pass. It could be a lot of shit, but that's something that seems to be per- persisting almost as much as Austin Evans getting DDoS because he said the new PS5 is worse than the old one. Wow. Chris Grinnell. This is something that is so fucking ridiculous. For yeah. one, you got absolute morons calling Austin Evans a fanboy because he's just talking about how less copper is not as good as more copper in a console that already runs hot and it's uh, reported issues with their external SSDs not maintaining performance due to heat and needing to apply <laughs> third-party heat sinks to your fucking memory solution from a consumer standpoint, it's not ideal. It's not hard, but it's not ideal. And if you're not able to maintain performance, it's 100% due to heat. And uh, people have questions about the new one and reducing the amount of copper in, in, a, in a heat sink leaves people with questions, right? So obviously some people call him an Xbox fanboy for this. And then he was DDoSed by Sony fans for, for saying this stuff. What is your thought on someone like Austin Evans? Hi, guys, this is Austin. What do you think about him getting attacked over this uh, it's, it's just ludicrous isn't it yeah it's fucking it's crazy and the thing is it's like he's not just some like randomer do you know he, he looks at hardware looks at pc hardware looks at you know, deep dive on the series x and stuff like that you know we sat down i think he even had like a, a, a playstation blog guy to like tear down the new console as well with him on that particular episode yeah that playstation um, guy's the one that scratched the console and he took off the plate. <laughs> yeah, she was like hey he's like ah shit <laughs> I broke it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's we know it's a hot console. We know that Sony were pushing for um, a price reduction so they could yeah. start to look at making money. The thing is, is if this was kind of uh, if this was a light or a you know a, a slim or something like that, and they were you know they were they were starting to kind of produce smaller chips and stuff like that, then you can start to see the thinking around like the smaller heatsink and so on and so forth. But to keep everything pretty much the way it is but then just reduce like 300 grams of that fucking heat sink Facts. take all the copper after out after announcing so you're finally not off. taking a loss on the console right when you do release this revision and all these other territories right yeah absolutely and obviously there's a lot of like data out there now so sony can look at how the launch consoles performed they could obviously ramp up the fan curves you know i think they even put in a new uh fan blade type i think it's a yeah. similar blower fan but obviously i had slightly different fan blades and stuff but to then turn around and kind of like you know fucking just release the guys like personal details and where he lives and shit like that it's just mental and then people on twitter were kind of yeah clipping what he was saying about you know he got invited by xbox and this that the other and completely leaving like 19 or 20 seconds off where he turns around and says, look, if Sony would have reached out, he would have done like more content on that because mm-hmm. Joe even showed like yeah. some of his right. analytics where he gets like bigger, you know, bigger hits and stuff. So yeah, uh, it's, it's just fucking ridiculous. It's like, why can't journalists or YouTubers or, you know, content creators like produce content and actually cover stuff, which is genuinely quite well, why can't they say something and, and people oh, knowingly yeah. actually clip the whole fucking thing and the whole full context because i say it over and over it's just like politics people don't give a fuck if they don't like you they're not gonna they're, they're knowingly not gonna tell people and show people what you actually fully said no and and com- i don't know common sense just isn't common anymore like like Chris was saying, and I said this last week as well, like the console is exactly the same. The same vents, the same chip, everything is the same except for the heat sink. So common sense has to kick in at some the point. The fan is different so, as well. Yeah, yeah it's and, a little shiny. And, and the fan is different. And so common sense has to kick in. Listen, there's a lot less copper, there's a lot less materials. It's not going to cool it as efficient. Now, I'm going to say that in the end, it's probably not going to affect the short term. Of, of of the console it's 
running a few degrees hotter, and I think it's going to affect it in the long term over time, the longevity of it. Um, it's it's just runs hotter, and if you have a system that runs hotter than the original, it is a downgrade. Now I've been trying to follow this, waiting for like updated results, like like test results, and I saw that uh, Gamer Nexus did put a video up, and they said that they're trying to outsource the console, and they said although they're not a hundred percent on the uh, methods that he chose to uh, register the heat, they did say you know it does have significantly less you know materials, and that even though the the uh, testing methodology was not the best. That doesn't mean that the conclusion is not the same. So they're they're gonna test it, but just common sense tells you that it's gonna be hotter, and therefore it's just not gonna be as good as the original. You want your electronics to run cooler because it preserves the lifespan of that device. So well, the the, the jury is actually still out whether or not it runs hotter internally. Now it's it's dispensing yeah. heat. Uh, yeah, at a hotter degree, hot. and you but can clip it. You is, can clip it. Last say, week, we yeah, said that, we said it. Last show, we talked about be, this. We said, "Hey, generated though, right?" But, but, but you still, could also though, say that we still said it last time. We talked about this that I want those temps at the slot where the expansion SSD goes, and I want those yeah, internal yeah. temps because the ex, the externals is not the full story, uh, as no, we all know. Not. You know, competition today yeah, shows that with Xbox, the Series X dispenses heat hotter than the PlayStation Five. So, and, and then they attribute that to it working better. And so, it runs quieter as well. They, they say yeah, the internals the, are cooler. So you have to wait until the internals are tested. Uh, that's my opinion. Yeah, game yeah, and the, the, the worry is the memory, isn't it? They need it to cool that memory. Because yeah. if you go back to the original launch console where Gamers Nexus was like harder. quite worried about the heat of you know, the temperatures the internal memory was getting up to, that's the thing which I'm really interested in. Have they done something where they directly affect and cool that internal memory, or is that now shot up above you know, 97 or whatever the fuck it's at? Yeah. That 90 degrees like, for like, Dick really yeah. Good question. Well, listen, I, I think th- I'm going to give uh, Sony the benefit of the doubt here. I think that, um, yeah, they might be, you know, a little bit on borderline if you, you could say looking at the numbers, but I think that, that, they, that they really have never had a problem where they have overheated the console like Xbox has had with the Red Ring uh, uh, death. Yeah. Um, so I want to give them benefit of the doubt. I think they know what they're doing. They probably found a cheaper way to run it. Maybe it let, like little, little hotter, hotter, but they may be che- Who knows what they're doing with the frequency? What? Who knows? You know, got a little bag of ice inside of there. Is what you're saying? Yeah. I, I, I think they tested it to the point where it's gonna, you know, it's gonna yeah. last. I don't think they, they I, would have us think for three years. Tim, I can't remember which which version it was because I used to, I used to fix a lot of Xbox 360s at the reball those systems, and um, I also PlayStation uh, 4s. I can't remember which version it was, but one of them you you did you did get the blue light of death on it, man. It it, it did happen. It really? happened. Yeah, it happened yeah, more often. PS3 than had some issues as well. There yes, was a, there was a a big batch of PS3s that like failed. Yeah, why y'all being tight? I used to have to fix yes. them. So. <laughs> hey, yeah, real talk. quick, real quick. Let me give, give a shout out to Aesop Gamer. He says, "Watch Microsoft announce that they that they bought Take Two. They bought uh, <laughs> they bought Rockstar. Well, Take Two Rockstar. Yeah, they're saying that. Rockstar, Ubisoft, and uh, yeah, they're gonna do all that on Friday to make Sony no. fans sad. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, no, it's no, pretty no, funny. Failed Pyromancer said earlier that on Friday they were gonna announce that uh, Elder Scrolls Six is exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and they could do that, you know, and that'd be, uh, that still causes meltdown. Sir X-Man does say if, uh, the, if this next, uh, he said if this next gen wants to, uh, fuck. Yeah. If the next gen consoles want to impress him, it needs to allow him to do uh triple screen on my console. That would be, yeah, I wouldn't expect that anytime soon, but you know, that would be pretty neat. He says, uh, like he does on his PC, he would be impressed and, uh, he was, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was. You could do it on 360, but do you need three three of them? You're talking about with three consoles? Yeah, I could see that happening. But yeah, with one, I don't know. 360 definitely didn't do it with one. I know they they had some racing rigs where you had multiple 360s that would run each display, right? You guys remember yeah, that? Yeah, you'd link them. Yeah, yeah it was pretty crazy. Uh, so maybe they could yeah. daisy chain them like that. Uriel once again does say, play, PlayStation IP, you would like to um, to be bought back. Well, hell, I mean, uh, Slice are brought back. Sly Cooper 4 for him. A uh, PlayStation IP that I would like to see brought back. 
Um, <laughs> shit. <Yeah>. Anyone? <laughs> so calm, so calm, so, so calm. calm. I mean, it didn't. I don't no, know. What would be like? I, I, I was, was kind of soured on SOCOM. By the time they finally shut Zipper Interactive down, because Sony has shut a ton of studios down, people like to act like they haven't. Uh, yeah, they were making mag and all kinds of different crap. Um, oh, where? mag, I remember that. Like, oh, I've, got, I've got a shitload that uh, obviously I was like personally attached to, but I'd like to see stuff like G Police, you know, wipe out, but we'll, we may get onto yeah. that. Um, yeah, yeah I mean, there's a load of like old psychosis stuff which was like really fucking really neat you know um like re reimagining some of those things would be really good i i kind of want uh honestly i just want socom too because i loved socom, yeah, and, the socom. Other one is, and the other one is twisted metal twisted metal twisted metal I want yeah. Metal. yeah that one can stay in the bushes hey no but the twisted twisted no remakes after dead space bitch hey Twisted exactly. Metal <laughs> on the Colony next generation walls. consoles, Twisted Metal, they could really make that realistic because it's not like there's too much environments that you got to deal with. They could really crank the graphic level up to 100, throw some physics in that. I, that that'd and be then you get idea, Destruction honestly. All-Stars, D-Batch. Yeah, but it's not Twisted Metal, man. <laughs> and then you put it's a little clown mask on your TV Colony screen. Walls would be good. Like a Sony exclusive space shooter. You know, like Colony Wars was like a really good game. Obviously, Kill Zone's being killed, hasn't it? Uh, oh, Sadly, yeah. so I don't think that's. that's Honestly, but it was the Halo make, Killer, uh, Chris Grinnell. How about they just make a single? <laughs> how about they just make a single co-op game? Anything? How about that? Bring something like that out. Oh shit! I think I, I think that's that's possible. What might happen? People in the chat are like, I mean, yeah, I mean, bring out a I mean, co-op no, game, Sony. After telling that, us that, that, that co-op don't matter with Halo. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Nah, don't piss me off. <laughs> I mean. For, uh, I mean, if they could, if they could get resistance, I, that would make me the happiest. Yeah, and Somniac uh, did yeah. make that, and they do own a Somniac now, right? So yeah. they could they could bring that back, I guess. I mean, they could they could really make that good. I remember when I first saw the first, uh, you know, the the trailer for that, I was like, wow, I'm like, this looks sick. But if they have a good, I think they have a good idea for a game. It is kind of like like Halo, but. It looks different. Like you could be the graphics, obviously, are a lot different, and you know, a lot of shooting base. And I just think they're missing that type of game, so that's why it would be perfect for them to get. Mm. Well, uh, let us know, chat. What what classic Sony IP would you like to see brought back? By the way, David and Super Chat says the Gamers Nexus did a thermal test on the ORG PS5, and the e MEM bot reached ninety degrees Celsius, plus five degrees Celsius. Uh, that is not good for the console. So he's saying that it, perhaps it does run hotter internally as well on those slots. I'm not What's sure. Uh, check out the What's latest this? Super Chat D-Batch. But uh, let's go ahead and move on. And if you want to come back to it, you can. Um, yes. I want to talk about, so Austin Evans, all that stuff. If if you made excuses for people to DDoS and Austin Evans, you're a fucking idiot. Okay? Yeah. That's just stupid. You should... Climb back in a trash can. If, um, yeah. yeah. PS5. Even, even if you called him a liar, you're stupid because he didn't lie on anything. And matter of fact, he even mentioned that they should do more testing internally. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and he's and he's entitled to his opinion. You can disagree. You can uh, respectfully disagree with with his opinion and and put forth your facts that would state the other the, the opposite. But to 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 go to that extent, like it's like. Honestly, it's video games. Like we're we're here to have fun, and you know I'm not gonna get on who's more toxic than the other. But there's just a a a, a group of sickle fans. Like just to, just take it too far. Like relax, man. It's freaking video games. Like relax. Yeah, just video Don't games. Don't tell me to relax, man. He relaxed too much. Now he's got to go. Now I'm overheating. Yeah, he's overheating now. So. Uh, well, what isn't overheating, though, is, is the next topic, because it's waiting still. PS5, uh, there was a thing that released her on Twitter, and it's totally not easy to fake at all, but uh, I don't know if you saw this, uh, Zauker, but there was a big list of things that a, a Thursday Sony might do, and, and apparently, you know, they're going to probably show off some stuff like, oh. I don't know, God of War, right? And people are going to say, CG, CG, and that's going to be in-game, just like the last God of War yeah. they revealed. The game yeah. looked, you know, amazing when it came out. God of War 2018, again, I'll say it a billion times, one of my favorite games of all time, along with Witcher 3. Yep. Um, yeah, God of War is going to look fire, but, you know, again, they, they lied. 
They knew this fucking game would come out in 21. They knew it. So, you oh, know, 2022? again, 2022, yeah. 2020 be, fucking be, three, probably, because Horizons got pushed back to 2022. Why would they waste two massive games on one year? I guess they've done it before, right? You can instantly point to Shishima and Last of Us, but well, no, they, they did have a console at, launch coming up. At, I would have saved that shit. You could even look at 2018 with God of War and Spider-Man coming out the same year. Well, one was third party, like, at least, I will say. Yeah, 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 I'll say that. Um, I would say that. I mean, people were kind of like, I don't know, are we going to see God of War? Yeah, we're going to see God of War gameplay footage, people. I mean, when you look at the other God of War that came out, the, the one that just came out in 2018, they showed gameplay in 2016. Like that, so oh, they shows, showed. There was like, a gameplay. It was in game, but I don't know if it was a gameplay, was it? No, it was gameplay. Remember, it was like that where he fought the troll, then it ended, and then oh, people yeah, like the, during yeah, the making of that. that yeah, you know, during the making of Kratos or whatever, raising Kratos, that developer, like the developer that worked there, was like, "Yeah, once we showed that, we're, I was like, how are we gonna make that for twenty five <laughs> hours? Like he was like, geez, in the next year and a half." So oh, I get, I get what people are saying, but I think they're gonna have a pretty decent show, and I, I just think people are going a little off with like it's forty minutes, people. Like the freaking Xbox Bethesda showcase was like an hour and thirty. And that was one of the best gaming shows we've ever seen. Facts. Like, sorry yeah. to break it. Sorry to break it to you, but that was an amazing show. <laughs> to me, I think Sony needs to show up to the show and just give us something because this holiday season, they have bitch all to, to give us. They have no games like, this year. They have no this- games coming out at all for the rest of the year. Sorry, people. Like, I know there's Kenya, uh, Ken- Kenna, whatever, Bridge of Spirits that looks decent. I'm not even counting third party, bro. Cool. Like, it, But yeah, even with third party, like, yeah, yeah, even Kenya, with their, okay, so they have no truth and, on my PC, man. They got, they got, they got nothing. Uh, yeah, all the games that are coming out are going to be on PC, whatever. Like, I don't care about that. I'm saying, like, their first party doesn't start till like, February. And so I think if they don't show God of War gameplay on Thursday... I'm thinking that's a 2023 game. I think we'll get even. I don't want to see any more Horizon. I really don't. Why not? I'm, like, I'm done. Like, we have like 20 minutes of gameplay. Want to see Horizon on PC? We saw enough. Yeah. I think we're going to see Gran Turismo 7. I think we'll see gameplay of that. I thought thought that only Microsoft games were affected by the pandemic and delays. We could. That game was actually delayed as well, and nobody talks about that shit. I'm hating today. Fuck it. I don't even give a shit. You're right, Al. You're not being wrong. Chat, let us know. Let us know true. what you think about haters. And and the and the new Last of Us uh, <laughs> part, uh, Last of Us uh, factions PVP, because Neil Druckmann at the beginning of yeah, this year said yeah. that we have some stuff to show you. So that 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 mode was obviously missing from Last of Us Two. So it's half a game because you know no multiplayer. Uh, so you yeah, know yeah. stuff like that. But where's the same energy from all the people who don't care about the Last of Us co op, the multiplayer and whatnot? You remember when they showed? Uh, Miles Morales, like when they first like teased it, it, it kind of just had that slow motion look at his costume tearing apart and the electricity and everything. The They'll probably stuff. do something similar to that for Spider Man Two if they show anything on Spider Man Two. They so, Fonz, what do you expect to be there? It's front to back, Jim Ryan to crack. What do you expect to be there at that show? Uh, lots of crack. Um, <laughs> no. I, actually, I, I really just think that there's going to be a lot of gameplay for God of War. I think they're going to showcase that game. Um, and I, I know it's going to look phenomenal and that's all they really need for me to be excited. Honestly, is God of war, uh, that, and I think they might tease Spider-Man too. I, I, I think they might have a teaser, like a little CGI so what is thing. This? Is this their E3? Something. Like where did E3 go? Uh, yeah, this is their, E3. this is their time. This is the, the okay. this is when they kill Xbox. Remember oh, Xbox yeah. dies Thursday. Oh yeah. I forgot about notice, that. I notice. I, I've been told by several PlayStation guys, Xbox is doing. I remember it. when um, I remember when people said that you know Horizon and God of War wasn't get delayed and their channel died. But I honestly, even though we've seen Ooh. Horizon Forbidden West, I think we're going to see a bit more of it. I, I really do. I think they're going to show something, some sort of trailer, something. They're going to show Her- Horizon again. And outside of that, I'm hoping we get a surprise. I really do. I hope we get a surprise. I th- um, I, I have a feeling you're going to get a surprise. I have a feeling that. Surprise is coming. I think Drop they have it, a Tim. long time. Tell us. They, they, no, I, I don't know anything, but I think that, 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 listen, they had a year and whatever, a half to really prepare for a show. They definitely have stuff. They definitely have stuff that we've never heard about. So I'm thinking uh, you're going to get God of War, uh, and, and that'll be amazing. And then you'll get uh, one surprise with that. And I think that'll be a good surprise. Could be Resistance. Um, or something that you know fans have wanted. So calm, I've heard. Mm-hmm. That's another one that that could be really good. Um, and maybe you know GT and maybe a tease on factions, PlayStation All Stars like too. That. 
And I also think we're going to get a little bit of a the Ghostwire Tokyo. I think we're going to get some yeah. showing of that because that's show those next two year. games. And I, and oh, I and yeah. To be, and to be quite honest, I think that what Sony needs to do, honestly, is just show what you got. Like, I mean, because th- th- Xbox isn't like fucking around, man. Like, no, <laughs> no, like this whole holiday <laughs> season. I think Tim hit gone. it. Uh, Gran Turismo is going to be shown too. Yeah, you're right. They've already that. shown Gran Turismo. Yeah. Nobody's really impressed with the way that game looked. No, they're going to show more of it. I'm sure. Yeah, they're going to show. They're going to show an I'll, updated version. I think. I, I think. Yeah, I'm sure that game is going to be. Listen. Yeah. Gran Turismo. I made fun of Gran Turismo Seven or whatever the uh, sport. It, like it looked like crap a month before. <laughs> really? really, no, they did some turnaround. They just showed an old and, build, probably. Yeah, whatever. I see the difference. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so, like, I think the next GT that you see is going to be very impressive. Uh, they have a Do lot you think it'll look better in Horizon Five, which is an open uh, world game? I don't think. I think Forza is really the 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 you know that's their 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 big boy and i think that'll speak for itself with with uh the next one you mm. know I, I have a feeling that they're really they're they're gearing up that engine but um you know gran turismo is still a good racing game you know i don't think it'll be on that level but it you know it could become close who knows it's gonna look amazing i'll tell you that yeah much. it's gonna look good it's gonna look good and Final Fantasy. I think Final Fantasy something will be there because they've been locking down that game, and I don't care. <laughs> hmm. and, and we might we we might get Resistance. I, I see a few things popping up on Resistance Three, so let's see. Yeah, I think it ties in, doesn't it, with anniversaries and stuff? Um, yeah. Chris, give us the details on all the PlayStation mounties. <laughs> all the details. Go. No, I think I think what I think what the guys are saying is right. I think. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we if we see a bit more like actual gameplay of Horizon. And what I mean by actual gameplay is not a vertical slice of gameplay, but someone actually, you know, Maybe. showing us, um, you know, showing us some kind of you know features or or something within that. <laughs> um, I think it's kind of the right thing to do. I think they probably would have been gear enough for that, regardless. Well, um, I am hearing so like like the other guys. I've heard some stuff around SOCOM, and I've heard some stuff around like Joe you know, Gorilla potentially being the ones who do that. Um, they do yeah, have two teams. Think, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, they've got uh, like a big ass bunch of developers in that place, and so don't forget they moved into a new building um, not so long ago, which uh, houses them all and um, has air conditioning. It's very nice. <laughs> yes, it's very nice. It's very, very nice. Um, no, it's no longer in an old bank and multiple buildings. Um, yeah, so I think I think they'll. Yeah, I, I think resistance will will be the interesting one. There just seems to be too. There's there's too many tweets and too many social posts around like um, you know, the anniversary from yeah. official channels, mm. not from randomers. Yeah. Okay. Well, good observation. Um, real quick, I want to give a shout out to um, Teller, uh, Tullinus. He does say uh, he would like to see Jack and Daxter brought back, by the way, from that topic. Um, yeah, they were fun. He loved those games. Uh, shout out to you, brother. Then we've also got Meat Puppet, who does say, shout out to Meat Puppet, you've been watching the show forever. He does say, so what are these frogs going to do when Xbox doesn't end on Thursday? They'll probably crawl back <laughs> into their shell and hopefully shut the fuck up. But uh, hey, maybe they won't. What do you guys think will happen on Thursday? Let us know down below. Uh, here in, again, PSVR. I mentioned this on Twitter. PSVR 2, not backwards compatible. Apparently, there would be a way to request something from Sony or something. I don't know. But uh, compatibility is not the name of the game there. Uh, and I don't really want to talk about the Take-Two stuff. Um, no. Because, no yeah, again, behind the scenes stuff. This false. Yeah, I mean, it, nobody, well, knows well, that. nobody knows anything. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Something that, like that. Well, something like that size of a deal, like just I, I just feel like nobody knows anything, and people are just getting crazy over the potential idea. My of hands the deal. are tied. I can't talk Position about season. certain things with this. And you think it's just, seven billion was a lot for Bethesda. Twenty-seven Holy billion God. is a lot more. But you know, we're not going to hype up and run with <laughs> with this shit right now. I mean, it yeah. it did pretty much originate uh, around you know this squad, so. It's it's uh it's one of those things where it just was taken and run with and it wasn't supposed to be and uh, we'll just wait and see what's going on with this and yeah let's talk about uh let's talk about you know <laughs> fuck 
<laughs> I can't. Talk about I, I can't. Shortages. Let's talk about it. Uh, shortages. Shortages. Yeah, shortages. Tell us about those shortages, hey, Tim. Shorty. Well, you looks like, uh, like it, um, my old saying, I go into the store, I know the store has Xbox or PlayStation, I come out of the store and buy that that day. That is not going to happen until probably the end of 2023, probably mm. early 23. Uh, it is It is all extended. No, 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 I'm sorry. It's the 20, early 23, but who knows? It could be 24. It, this stuff just gets kicked back. First, it was, you know, going to be the end of the year. Then they kicked it to after the year. And now uh, the talk is that, you know, the, the pandemic still causing a problem. They're still way behind uh, shortages till, let's just say, Q. let's settle on Q1 2023. That's a long time. This gen is going to be a long one. Yeah, especially with a lot yeah. of scalping going on, it's just going to keep continuing. Yeah, and, I want my damn guys. console, There's and so I want it now, Fonz. There's so many gamers out there that just want a console, man, and I feel bad for them, man. Well, yeah, it's just hope sucks. yours don't fucking break, you know? And that by the too. way, there is a... Com- D-Batch, you have an official competitor. <laughs> this is a YouTube channel that was recommended to me. It's like real uh, data lover, some weird shit, but it basically oh, is shit. keeping track of like all the... <laughs> All the supply and all the stock in real time. Yeah. Have oh, you seen that? Yeah. Of those channels. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get, I get some information, not specifically. He's like, I've been using them the whole time. Yeah, I, I get that. I, I have all kinds of trackers all over the place, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's bad. So you know, you got, you got the car manufacturers needing these chips. There's course, lots the of trucks. So just to expand on that, KY Bob was telling us because he worked at a, a, a manufacturer. Lots of trucks. So they're just sitting there for six months because they need chips. They can't get chips. Yeah. And they're fighting yeah. with Xbox. You know, they got boxing gloves on. Yeah. They're fighting with everybody over silicon. They can't get it. Nobody yeah. can. Yeah. Yeah. I have people that have ordered cars and they're, you know, they're waiting five, six months for delivery of their cars. So yeah. it's, 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 it's a bad situation. Phones and as and well. you got the, yeah. And you got the consoles selling like crazy. You know, and the demand is just at an all time high. So they have to build like these new plants. And these new plants basically are not going to be up and running until, like, hopefully the end of 2022, 2023. And that's when we're going to see a little bit of ease. Now, we're going to have some little pockets here and there. Like, I, I know some of the company's strategies are, are under consoles. I don't want to say any of that stuff. But there will be consoles for the holiday season. But it's they're still going to sell out really quickly. So yeah. if you can get your hands on a PlayStation 5, if you can get your hands on a Series X and, you know, come, I think it's October, I believe it's October 5th or something like that. The yeah. new, the new switch comes out. If you can get your hands on it, when it, just, 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 just get it, you know, D-Batch, let's scalpers. convince Nintendo not to make that fucking thing and just give the silicon someone else. I don't know what Nintendo's thinking. Like, like who cares if it has an OLED screen? Like, it's still really crappy It's got a hardware. Wi-Fi dongle. Like, it's just, uh, that, that's, another, that's another story. <laughs> but yeah, the shortage, is, the shortage is real, man. So it's, it's, it's sad, yeah, man. It's really for sad. PC, too. Like, you always talk about the mining. I know we're not going to go there. But that, that is a technology that, that people are going crazy about. And the PC market is also part of this and that's part of the problem that's why it keeps going on and on you know you're still buying you're still buying these pc how much is it for uh uh the top of the line amd card five billion dollars for for 3800 for how much for the for the the mining card the the 3800 how much on both sides red and red and green what are the top Uh, top uh, okay um so 3080 Kind of, they switched over to 3090s now because most of the cards. How much, is it? How much is it? You're looking at anywhere like retail or scalper. Retail, retail, <laughs> retail. You're looking, scal- at, <laughs> you're looking at like a thousand. You're looking at like a thousand dollars for like a, a 3080. For a 3090, you're looking at like fifteen hundred for AMD. If you can get like the, wow. the one directly from AMD, you're oh. looking at like six to eight hundred dollars. But the AIBs, like the partners, they're selling these cards for a lot more. Like I, I'm giving this is you like why the I reference stick the consoles, model prices. People, I stick the so, consoles. Five hundred dollars. Hey, real real, real, interesting, point real, is, real is that, interesting. Real quick. But Sorry, the reason why is we're talking about that funds is because the shortages, and yeah, that's yeah. part. That's part of it. And that's these a big damn part PC of it, guys. Right. That they're, they're freaking competing with the. You know, they they all want the chips, 
and yep. they're and all competing against each other, and then they're charging fifteen hundred for a freaking top of the line card. These cards used to be seven hundred. Now they're fifteen hundred. Listen, they're paying I, six thousand like Zocker. <laughs> the best advice that I can give for somebody yeah, that's true. looking looking for PC hardware, honestly, grab grab yourself a thirty seventy laptop that has a fourteen forty p screen. And rip it in half. You'll get you'll you'll get fantastic performance. You can get ray tracing, or you know, if you choose the AMD version, you'll still get ray tracing at a lesser value, whatever. But you're still gonna get good frame rates at a hundred and sixty five hertz screen. You know, fourteen forty p for like I don't know in the states. I think they're, they're around fifteen hundred or something like that. Yeah, which is serious question. Which is, which is okay. Yeah, serious right. question. Why not one hundred and sixty seven hertz? <laughs> hmm? I don't know, man. Answer Overclock it. <laughs> anyway, hey, champ. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. Fifteen hundred here. Uh, listening to us ramble and talk about dumb shit uh hit the like button if you haven't we do appreciate it let's try to get closer to a thousand for the end of the show uh, and uh, seriously you guys make the show what it is uh definitely support everybody here check out their stuff we're gonna do some outros and um this is everything that's happened this week we don't set a limit and like i said last week we're not gonna force a two-hour show it's more about how well it's flowing right so um, it's kind of like soccer it's flowing well we gotta you know it's time to end it and uh, we got to do this. got to do that. Talking stuff. about graphics cards. The last graphics card I had was a, a, a 750 GT. Back when the Atari, Atari just I came out. I reckon you, you could use a Pentium and play new games. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Uh, yeah, I don't know who the fuck would ever tell you that. It's some dumb shit. Hey, Sir X Man, shout out to yep, you, buddy. He says, I would love to see a uh, new MDK from PS2 and Dreamcast for, uh, for anyone that actually remembers those games. Um, it was an outstanding. I remember the game case, man. MDK. What is it? Is that stand for like Murder, Death, Death Kill? Kill? Like Most Demolition Man? Yeah. Demolition yeah, Man. Yeah. I just watched that recently, actually. Uh, Murder, Death Kill. So. You really? With, 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 <laughs> You're the on TV. Yeah, corny yeah, ass movie. Wesley I Snipes, freaking love yeah. that movie, bro. Uh huh. That was pre tax evasion, Wesley Snipes. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, well, hey, he still knew karate then, Chris You want to go to Taco Bell? It's a I restaurant of the future hey, now. Open your food, tiny mouth. Speaking of food, I need to go uh, eat before I go to work because I got a long shift tonight. But anyway, you can find me at Fonzarelli Gaming. On the Gaming. corner. Yeah, oh, yeah, on the corner. You got a long, you got a long shift Gaming. tonight. Got it. Somebody yeah. asked me in, yeah. in, in, in the chat. Uh, somebody asked me in the comments last week to spell it because he couldn't find my channel for the life of him. And it's F-O-N-Z-E-R-R-E-L-L-I. Uh, gaming right here on YouTube. Follow me, folks. Uh, do Games Talk Live on Sundays, and I just put out a video. Who's your guest, uh, Fonz? Concerning Hor Horizon Forbidden West uh, d the other day, and it was it was a fun video to do. So check it out if you haven't. Uh, my last guest was uh, Solid Rev. Had a great time with him. Uh, that was great for Games Talk Live. Are you getting him Next on the show or not? Oh, I... I, I he, he, uh, I have to ask him. <laughs> I have to ask him, because it's hard to get him, man. Like... <laughs> It's tough to get. Solid anyway. rev. How many people? How many? How many coins do you need? I mean, come on. How many sir, shillings? No. I've yeah. I've not uh, asked no, Solid Rev before. Dude. He's a cool guy. He's a nice guy. Yeah, great dude. Uh, this Sunday, I will have BitCloud Gaming on. Talk to him. Talk to him about you know Xbox, PlayStation, what he's thinking right now. He's had a lot of great videos lately concerning uh, both, and I think he's been on point. He he has really been on point lately. Uh, so I want to get him on. He's been talking to developers and stuff too on his channel. He's moving on up, and uh, yeah. So if you want to hear just you know a, a good one-on-one -on -one talk with somebody in the gaming community or whatnot, find me there. Don't watch any of those. Go watch me and Fonz's episode on his channel. That was a good. That, yeah, that was a fun one too, man. That yeah, was, it was a really great. Episode. It was fun. Follow Fonzarelli yeah. and shout out to Dark CMF who does say in the future what all restaurants outro. are Taco Bell. What an and good soon I will have game. Zocker. I will have Zocker on soon, by the way. Really? You're going to ruin your show yep. with Zocker? I mean, Man, I Zocker's told him that. <laughs> you warned him, at least. He'll be on. He'll be on. <laughs> uh, shout, out to, uh, shout out to Fonz and Zocker. Zocker, tell me where you've been playing, buddy, and where can people find you? Find me on Twitter, Zocker87, YouTube, Zocker87. I've been playing uh, Psychonauts 2. I've been playing Aliens Fire Team with Mother Shady uh, a lot, and it's Ooh. been it's a really it's a really good game. I, I don't care, man. That thing is fun. We we're having a lot of good hey, me, time. Hey, me and Chris squatted up with with someone. Yeah, with the, me. No, someone else, and and she was hey. way better at you than the game. <laughs> 
I mean, I was top killer with you guys. That, you you were top. Anyways, moving top on. loser. Top everything. Top everything. Top. Because I'm the biggest gaming loser. Um, no, but I've been playing a lot of Aliens um, and Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Valhalla. Odyssey more with like my girl just going through it. Man, that game is she. She just ran into the Cyclops <laughs> and she was like, "Oh, what the fuck!" <laughs> I was like, "Yep, this game is freaking legit." Now, uh, Zacher, in order to keep possession of a Series X, has convinced his girl that the One X is just as good. <laughs> you got, I do. Yeah, all right, Chad, I tried telling her, I was like, "Yeah, the One X is good. Don't worry about it." Yeah, there's no the difference. Don't worry about it. She's like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> Yeah, no, she and then she because the thing is not even connected to an OLED, but the Series X is, and then she's like, "Yo, what the fuck?" <laughs> I was like, sorry. Don't worry about like, it. It's the same. I can't, man. I can't. <laughs> mm. But uh, no, I've just been playing a bunch of those games, man. Just having a good time. And chat, thanks for uh, joining us. Honestly, it was a good time. Uh, hopefully the Thursday show's good. Uh, Tim, you were on fire today, especially when you had amnesia. We still love you. And uh, yeah, thanks, everybody. <laughs> I knew you would love that. <laughs> I did. I, I, I couldn't stop laughing. Abandoned. Yeah. I got you know abandoned. You know, you know that happens. That happens to all the time. Not all the time, but it happens. <laughs> And you're like, oh, I don't know what I was talking about. Like, I just fucking brain farted. Uh, yeah, it's just and like, I hated the, it so much I forgot the, what it yeah, was. The the just the like the 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 prison that you're in, like you don't know what to answer, like you don't know what to yeah. say. And you're like, oh, maybe they'll just let it go. And, <laughs> and then they're like, well, what do you mean by that? And I was like. <laughs> and, um, but no, uh, you know, nice to see too a lot of fans showing up. I see the numbers in the chats and just crazy stuff. Uh, it, listen, this time of year is very down. We all know there's little tidbits. Sony's going to have a little bit of a show. I think that's good. Um, but, you know, this time of year is uh, when the diehards are, are, are going at it. And, yeah. you know, we're, we're going to have a lot of fun stuff to talk about coming up, especially when these games drop, especially when they show Halo. Uh, you know, there's a lot of fun things that are coming up. Uh, I think Sony's going to have a good show and good luck to them. But uh, you can find me on XCloud, Tim Dog on Twitter and Xbox itself, and I'll see you next week. Mm, definitely. Uh, and what have you been playing, Tim? Uh, I've been playing the great game uh, Psychonauts Two. I have to say, I'm probably middle through. Um, the game grows on you, and like <laughs> I might have been, you know, this this game it seems triple A to me. The just the the whole yep. presentation. But you pull it under the left now. You know, I mean, like, I, I am just, I am really taken back. It's just some of the things that you do in the game are new. And anytime I see that type of stuff, I love that. And uh, I like the main character, too. I think he's, like, I think he's funny. And I, very good humor, like, very dry, but uh, I like the humor. And uh, Tim is just an incredibly talented guy. I'm, I'm just trying to get through his game right now and see it all it's it's pretty tough but it's doable that's what i like about it but there's some there's some parts where i got a little lost and and i figured my way out of it but um yeah uh, you know that's a hit for xbox it's been great for xbox i've been playing 12 minutes too um if you guys have played that it's an amazing game uh you go through a loop all the time and Sometimes you make a decision and you get some type of different thing. I just <laughs> thought of something that I can do while I was driving. I'm going to go play it later, and I'm going to see if it works. So that's the type. Like, you could do something that changes the environment, and then you could bring her out something. And, you you know, it's one interaction with you and your wife, obviously. And we see the game. Uh, highly recommend it. It's very addicting, and it's pretty cool how you can you can manipulate situations. Oh my God, Beaner! <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> he said Sony's sad dad simulators. Is that what you call these damn games, man? <laughs> he said. He said they're so good. Uh, he said they're so good because they is the dev. They are the devs who crunch. What is it? It's like this. Is what the crunch is like? Come on, man. You know we don't talk about this shit. At least for extended periods of time on on the channel. But, um, yeah, straight to the source. Sad Dad Simulators, though. I never heard them called Sad Dad Simulators. And, and I'm a big fan of... Not all of them are sad. Nathan Drake's not sad, okay? Um, Spider-Man's not sad or dad. Uh, it, in Horizon, that's not... She's not a dad. So, you know, pretty, pretty good one, though. And then we've also got um, <laughs> Dark Magneto. 
I'm guessing so. Abbreviated. He says, I have both consoles, but I am enjoying Xbox much more, much better game, much better games in his opinion. Shout out to you, brother. Do appreciate it. By far the best racing games for sure. Easily. Um, hey, D batch, what have you been playing, buddy? And where can people find you? Play Psychonauts 2. Finally got to fire it up. And uh I really know what Fonz meant last week when he said the textures. The textures in that game are are something else, man. And I really enjoy the different platforming elements, man. That that game took me by surprise. I never played the original, but of course it's in Game Pass, so I said let me give it a whirl and Man, it's a, it's, it's a really good game. Uh, you guys can catch me, of course, on uh, Twitter at D underscore Batch and at YouTube at D Batch. I'll probably put out a video, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or the day after. I got the D brand um, blades for my PlayStation 5. The so D I Batch D brand blades? You got a custom deal with them? Huh? <laughs> yeah, man. I got nice nice black ones, man. And <laughs> I'm going to take the gloss off the you know the middle there they give you like a like a sticker whatever that you can put on there a decal so i'm gonna i'm gonna cover that up so it's gonna be nice and 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 matte and just black cover and it's, like sleep, it's like a little sleeping pack it'll little sleep sleep yeah day. it's that that console like i like like fanboys make me laugh man because you can say you like the games on the playstation 5 i won't argue with that but uh, like people saying oh it's the best looking console ever that thing is so who the ugly. fuck the says toys, that there's people that say that it's well, the worst part of me. the 80s They're... escaped into my entertainment center i don't know and and just the white like i'm constantly having to dust that thing and still it it just doesn't look as pristine as as pristine as it should look so i i'm glad to ditch the white i'm gonna put a video of me unboxing it and put putting it on the playstation 5 as well i'm gonna put my ssd with the heat sink that i ordered oh, online shit. in that so look up for that video more right, bench content okay. Good having you out on the show, Chris, by the way, and good show, everybody. Yeah, check out D-Badge's stuff. Uh, and also, again, uh, if you guys haven't, you're still here, hit the like button and uh, check these guys out. Subscribe at the bell icon and uh, follow Chris Grinnell. Chris Grinnell, tell the people where they can find you. you. We've been hanging out a lot and playing Horizon and playing Alien Fireteam Elite Delta Force Farce, and then we've been playing a lot of uh, 2K. Two- Chris Grinnell's the only British guy dunking on people's families. I hope you guys know that. So. Chris, uh, what have you been playing, man? And, and I just told him. And uh, where can they yeah, find you? <laughs> and thanks for coming on the show. No, anytime, mate. I always enjoy coming on the show. Great panel. Great uh, chat as well. Um, yeah, just been playing all those games. I mean, fire teams, good fun. And then I think after an hour or so, it gets frustrating. And you need to you need to kind of switch it off and have a little bit of a break. Um, Forza Horizon 4. It's like really good getting back into that. And obviously NBA 2K22 is out on the 10th, is it? I think. Um, so I guess we'll be hitting the court. Obviously, people can find me at CJ Grinnell on Twitter and Hard Times UK on the Xbox. appropriate gaming networks. But Xbox. You can see his gamer that. tag in this footage, actually. Top right. It is in the footage. The footage. The quarry. The quarry of death. We're in the quarry looking for weird things. And uh, no, Horizon Force Steel Blast. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to, I was trying to tag team. I was just trying to oop it to you and brag about Horizon Four and how it's still four damn, three awesome, damn yeah. years later. You know, amazing. Like it's still amazing. I started this game over for my Xbox One X review. I was like, damn, I want that beginning sequence again. I want to recapture it for the console, right? And I had to delete my save and start over. To get that uh, beginning sequence, at least that's the only way I could think of at the time. What a big deal, but um, yeah, that's why you're seeing a lot of these events and stuff. But we're having a blast with it, even still, Chris. We got some really nice cars. Yeah, it's still such a good game. And obviously, we was playing uh, four to seven before. I think we were, you know, uh, at some point this week we we're going to do some track racing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just a stunning game. So Horizon Five, when that comes out, is just going to be fucking awesome as well. So, mm. well, yeah, uh, lots again, of, lots of stuff to play. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks again, man, for for coming on and, and again, good friend of the show and and just good friend in general. Um, seriously. And let me get a few of these super chests and I'll, I'll kind of finish up here. But Beaner, he says, dealer ACG, um, Bud Lord Cog should do a charity. Wait, what? Yeah, charity liftoff. Lift off. Uh, yeah. Who can? Oh, who can lift the most PS fives? <laughs> I would win that one easily. Uh, and then we've got uh, Clutch, Clutch Man. He does say, uh, I think exclusive in quotation sound bites is Phil Spencer. Yes, it is. It is Phil Spencer. Shout out to everyone in the uh, Super Chat again. Everyone in the chat. Greg 3E3Egg. 
We've got Dr. Ding Dinglenut. Shout out to you. Game Genie Prime. Shout out to you as well as Jason Spears, Jason Borges, Lethal Papa, Duke, Tango, Rob, Roski. And, you know, it's just a few people in the channel I want to shout out. Some mods, some channel members, some not, some patrons. All that stuff's linked down below. And thank you guys for doing what you do. Seriously, a thousand people still here. We do appreciate it. We need to get here overnight. We've been working at this for a while. And, uh, you know, you guys still show up and support the show. So it means a lot. You guys are awesome. Uh, and you're the reason we are even here right now having a voice at all. So say it every week. And that's because I mean it. But we are we are out. I also mean that every week. So we're going we're gonna to go bye-bye. Later. Soccer's a frog. <laughs>